Because of the pandemic that we went through, remote learning kind of took off. And one of the big things that I think is important about remote learning is understanding that the productivity that you can have while working at home, while working at a coffee shop, can be just as good, if not better, than in the workplace. And what I mean by that is you get a lot of people that are, one, extremely uncomfortable, let's say, with the workplace or the environment that the workplace has. People work better in different environments. Um, and I truly think it's super important to be comfortable where you're working. Now, there is, you know, kind of different things that come along with that. But as far as productivity concerns, when people are more motivated to work and they feel better in the environment that they're working in, they're more likely to be productive in that environment for that company or business or whatever it may be. So I think that was one of the biggest outcomes, the remote working um, from the pandemic that we saw. Another big thing was the remote learning. I think remote learning was extremely important and it was um, a very big step in a progression that is inevitable, in my opinion, the way technology is going. Kind of before that, all we had known is online classes. Now, online classes were more structured for the teachers to maybe record videos um, or less lessons and lectures and kind of read through it on your own. However, with basically the invention and utilization of Zoom, Everybody was able to then um, kind of go through and see, they can see their classmates, they can interact with their classmates, they can interact with the teacher. And I think that was a huge step in the right direction in trying to make sure that, you know, you try to give that in-person classroom feel, but in the comfort and environment of a, you know, of your house or like I said, a Starbucks or whatever it may be, whatever your comfortable spot is, um, but then kind of the, the last thing that I talked about was the mental health aspect. So obviously with mental health is kind of a big and growing concern in in the world today. I think mental health is one of those topics that sometimes people don't like to talk, talk about, but it's kind of being forced into fruition now. Um, and so the one thing, there's obviously mental health issues in the workplace, you know, whether you, you like your boss or you interact in different ways that you know, you may or may not like. However, when you get to working at home, there's kind of other issues that, you know, can tend to arise. So for me, like whenever I work at home, my biggest thing is stopping working. Sounds weird, but when when I'm in a work environment, I always want to work. I'm very competitive. I always want to win. So I'm always working at trying to be the best and I continue to work. So if I, in the traditional way of working where I'm in an office, I leave and I leave work with the office and then I go home. But if I'm working at home, then there's a lot of times it's hard to relax because you're like in that spot where you can still work. So I think just understanding different kind of aspects of how remote learning is good, how remote working is good, and just trying to make sure that they are um, utilized properly because they will be used from here on out, the way technology is going. And I think it's important to acknowledge that and understand how and the best ways that we can go about that.